What is going on, guys? Opulent Vision here, back with another episode of me trying to get an average of 12 under 20 seconds. This has been so difficult, but we are getting so close, as you'll see today. We had like a 20.4, like I think, average. I think there's just one solve in there that kind of threw the average off just a little bit, but we are getting so close and seeing so many more consistent solves under 20 seconds, which is very surprising to me. For this week, go ahead and leave your Q&A questions in the comments. I only have five questions to answer this video. Unfortunately, I wish I had more, but that's in you guys' control. So go ahead and leave more comments about cubing, personal life, YouTube, and I will answer them in the next episode or in the next few. I don't know where I'm at with the comments yet, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Q&A. Cubing on the spot says, have you ever gotten a sub 10 solve? By the way, your cross strategies are amazing. Well, I appreciate you cubing on the spot. I have gotten a sub 10 solve, but it was one of those solves that has a very specific scramble that you mess up in all of your PLL. And I meant, sorry, I meant F2L pairs are already pre-made. So yes, I've gotten a sub 10, but since it was a setup, I don't count that as a PB. My PB right now is 14.14 seconds, which we have yet to beat in any episode, but we've gotten very, very close. But I guess I'll leave this kind of question sitting with you guys. Do you guys think setup solves like that should count as a PB? I know a lot of cubers do count that as their PB, and I'm just kind of unsure because, I mean, you're setting up the cube, but you're also mixing it. So go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think. Do setup solves count as a PB? That one cuber 25 says, have you ever tried blind events or thought about trying them? You know, I actually have tried doing blindfolded solves. And as you can imagine, it does not go well. It absolutely amazes me that people are able to just blindfold themselves and solve not just one, but there's people that solve like 20 cubes at once blindfolded or more, which is insane. But I've always thought it'd be really cool to learn blind solving and especially get like sub one minute doing it. I know that'd be a lot of work to do, but it's up to you guys. Should I try doing that for another series? Uh, that's very potential. Um, but I'm also curious, does anyone have any good uh, suggestions for videos or any tutorial online that is good at teaching blind solving? I mean, I'm sure every cuber has tried this, so maybe there is some really good tutorial out there. So if you know it, go ahead and let me know. FIFA Pirate Zero says, I'm a content creator and I wanna learn how to grow my channel more towards the topic of cubing. Do you have any tips on how I could do this? Well, the first step in being successful in this is to just start. So many people just kind of sit around thinking about how they're gonna do it or thinking about their first video. And I'm not gonna lie, your first couple videos are not gonna be good at all. Now, there is one little key that I'm gonna give you guys to being a cubing content creator, and I'm sure a lot of people kind of see me doing this, but shorts are the number one way to grow as a content creator, especially with cubing. I know it's not ideal, um, I guess, for a lot of cubers or YouTubers to make money, so if that's your goal, I don't know if you will achieve it very well um, making shorts, but look at some of the top cubers, such as Cubehead. I mean, his videos are really, really good, well done, high production budget. I mean, he's got the newest cubes, the newest cameras. And the issue is not a lot of cubers watch long form videos. He only gets like 50 to maybe 100,000 views per video, which for being as big as he is, he should be getting a lot more than that. So I don't know if you guys kind of noticed this as well, but I mean, look at the cubing shorts. So many cubing shorts have millions and millions of views. Um, and again, it's not ideal creating shorts instead of long form videos, but just not a lot of people in this niche really watch long form videos. Besides you guys, of course, you're watching this. But that's just kind of been my realization on the, the question here, you know. Next question from Bloxy Sucks at Roblox. He says, what is your favorite food? Now, this is a loaded question, but I've gotten it once before and I'm, I'm changing my answer now. My favorite food of all time 
has got to be prime rib, which, I mean, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a cut of meat from a cow, uh, similar to steak, but a little bit thinner. And you know what? It just makes me feel good after eating it. I don't know if you guys are up with all the controversies, but there's so many people saying that food, especially American food, is really bad for you, high in carbs, highly processed. And I've kind of realized that living where I am, that the food just doesn't make my body feel great. It makes me feel heavy, weak, tired, yada, yada, yada. But eating more whole foods like steak, eggs, bacon, I mean, sticking to main things like meat, vegetables, fruit, I've just started feeling so much better eating like that. And although steak's expensive, I mean, it's good, makes me feel good. I cut the check for it sometimes. So I don't know, maybe if you guys are American and want to try feeling better, maybe try eating more, uh, more natural foods like that. It worked for me. Maybe you don't feel this way. Anyway, <laughs> last question here from A Cold Cuber. If someone offered you $1 for every subscriber, so you had 135,000, but you can't make YouTube videos anymore, what would you do? I think I would decline that offer. I mean, this question is realistic in sorts. I could sell my channel online like today and make somewhere over $100,000 just because of the subscribers and view counts. And you know, I would much rather make YouTube videos because I'm not too worried about the money. I work a full-time job outside of YouTube, which uh, provides me consistent monthly income. And so YouTube's kind of like my side thing. And a lot of you guys know, but all the money I make off of YouTube, I either donate or I give away in giveaways to you guys. And so I'm not worried about the money from YouTube because I make a good living outside of YouTube. So I would absolutely continue to make videos. I think this would be the best option for me. And with that being said, I have something a little special for you guys. If you guys didn't see the last video posted on Saturday, I am giving away a MoU 21 by 21. Uh, I have not seen anybody on YouTube ever do this. And I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm excited to give away to you guys. And a lot of you guys requested having a larger cube like that. So one lucky person in my subscribers will win a 21 by 21. There's more details to that in the description free to join um, and YouTube like gives a purple heart next to like my top fans. And that's basically just kind of measured on who watches the most like watch time on my channel, likes, comments, um, and obviously you gotta be subscribed. And so I don't know if you guys wanna win a 21 by 21, it might just be worth checking out in the comments. I mean, a lot of people are always so surprised. They're like, ah, I'd never win a giveaway. But what if you won this one? What if you had a 21 by 21? Anyway, that would be really cool. And so I'm giving one of those away to one of you guys. Um, and a lot of people question the validity of my giveaways. A lot of people think they're fake. But if you look up uh, giveaway cubes for uh, from Opulent Vision, there are a couple of my subscribers had made YouTube videos like unboxing and reviewing um, their giveaway cubes. I think Creeper Cubing was one of them. So go ahead and check his channel out. Giveaways are 100% free and 100% real. So go ahead, join this one. It'll be awesome. But with that being said, I am out of questions and out of time. So appreciate the rest of this one-handed solve and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.